Hi there, everyone. Here we are, lesson 69. More about grievances and the problems they are. My grievances hide the light of the world in me. Then it starts right off saying, no one can look upon what your grievances conceal. Basically, people can't see the light in you or in me because we've got this big wall of grievances in the way. But as it says, the veil is lifted, or another way to say it, our grievances are dropped, all of a sudden, everybody is aware of the light. You, everyone else, because once light is available anywhere, it's available everywhere. So now it says, since this is just awfully important, we're going to try once again during the extended practice period to just be thinking about how important this process is. Salvation, salvation of the world, that's a pretty big job on our shoulders, <laughs> but we're not having to do it by ourselves. So it wants us to get in touch with the light that we are. It wants this veil that's clogging things up to be lifted. All the suffering in the world can disappear because it's all here because we do not know who we are, what we are, or what our options are. So now this is just how we're going to proceed, that we want this finding the truth about ourselves to be our only goal. And now it asks us to just end our search today by finding the light in us. Very quietly, with your eyes closed, just let go of all the stuff that normally occupies your mind. And now imagine that your mind is this immensely huge, vast circle. And this circle's perimeter is just filled with heavy, dark clouds. And the only thing we can be aware of is the clouds because we appear to be standing outside all of this looking at it. And we seem to be unrelated to it. So it doesn't seem to us like there's any reason to think that there's any light anywhere because the clouds are hiding it. Now just think about airplanes. Probably almost all of us have been in an airplane where we have approached or entered into big cloud banks, big thick cloud banks, and there is no possibility of being aware of the sun. The sun just doesn't get through those cloud banks. But clouds don't hold back the airplane. They just keep right on going because clouds don't really have any substance to them. At least they don't have any substance for the purposes of our metaphor here. And so in the quietness of this settled down place that you can get into, remember how important this is. Nothing else that you know about or think about or desire or have as part of your agenda is anywhere nearly as important as this. So just reach out, touch these like you would clouds, all of these grievances that are really without substance, but because we keep paying attention to them, they certainly do seem like a solid wall. And then if you're really sincere in wanting to go through these grievances and let them go, you will begin to feel a little lifted up and carried ahead because your little bitty effort and your little small divided determination calls on all the power of the universe. Love itself is on our side and is going to help raise us from the darkness we're in right now into the light, which is the truth of us, because this is the actual will of all that is. Well, if I'm joining with the will of all that is, I can have confidence that this is going to work out. Now, you might not feel like you're successful at the first time you do this, but just keep practicing knowing you're now asking and praying and wanting the only thing that's worth praying for, the thing that's going to solve every single problem that you think you have. You're at last 
joining your will to God's or to love's. Now keep this in mind that you have no choice but to succeed because the power of love is undergirding every single thing you're doing. And in these shorter practice periods, which it asks you to do just as often as you can possibly think about it, remind yourself that the grievances are the problem. And also to remember that you're not looking for these grievances all by yourself. And now you do know where to look, which is in your own mind. And then say, my grievances, the things that I hold against others because I think they've wronged me, those grievances are hiding the light of the world in me and I can't see what I have hidden. Yet, I want to let it be revealed for my salvation and the salvation of the world. And don't forget this part. If I hold a grievance, the light of the world will always be hidden for me and I will never be able to see, I will never be able to end my suffering. No matter what I try to rearrange in the world, it will never work. So keep this in mind. If you are tempted to hold anything against yourself or anyone else today, these grievances are the problem. We haven't thought so. We've thought, nobody knows what I'm thinking about. It doesn't matter. Oh, nothing could be further from the truth. The power of our grievances is making us all crazy. So it's time not to be crazy. It's time not to be lonely. It's time not to be suffering in any way at all. It's time not to be deprived. And all of this shift and change rests in your hands, no one else's. I hope you really feel uplifted and supported as you do this really important work today. Have a great day practicing. See you tomorrow.